Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, I did a video yesterday about how to spot a Medford uh, clone. So today I figured I would just tear this one apart really quick to see the inside. Now this isn't going to help you if you're buying a knife and you're not sure if it's a clone or not because, well, you're not going to have them take it apart for you in like a for sale thing, but I am just curious as to what the insides look like. So I did break apart the pivot uh, off camera just because it's a free spinning pivot and I had to kind of um, back it up with something. So let's just see if, well, we'll just see what it looks like inside. I'm just kind of curious. We know the outside looks kind of like a, uh, you know, it looks very similar to a Praetorian. And um, since there is no Medford warranty, there is no drama or anything, I can take this apart and not have any issues about anything. So why not, right? Um, it is funny because it's all magnetized hardware, you know, it all gets magnetized, which is unusual when I'm taking apart, you know, something else. Um, the pivot is different for sure, which I expected. Let's just see. messy in here. Uh, I'm not going to do a ton of work to this. I just kind of wanted to see what it's like inside. But we will clean it up anyway. I'll grab some lube and we'll re-lube it and get it back together for the person that loaned it in. But look at that, there's just one washer per side. Kind of. So there's... <laughs> oh boy. So even the clone is not consistent. It has a washer, it has kind of two washers on this side. There's a little Teflon washer, I guess this is. Spacer. I don't know. Very odd. I guess they're keeping with the uh, MKT tradition of having extra, extra washers. I had to run over and grab the lube, so I had forgot to bring that right to the table. Um, so interesting, for sure. Not that you're gonna tell this in taking it apart. You know, you're not gonna get somebody to take something apart for you in a for sale deal. And if it's a real Medford, they probably wouldn't take it apart anyway. Because there's a, all the junk that goes along with doing that from Greg. So let's see if we can get this uh, kind of lined back up. Because, yeah, well, you know. But yeah, interesting that there's an extra washer there. Yeah. Sometimes a little tough doing this backwards. It seems like it's backwards because. It's 
see if we get that lined up. Maybe. There you go. I might have put the pivot in the uh, backwards way. Yeah, well, it will go either way on this guy, and I will tighten it up off camera afterwards anyway because I kind of have to back it up with a uh, with another wrench because it's a free spinning pivot. But there you go, um, that's the inside of a cheap clone knife with goofy hardware that magnetizes itself to my tool, which is annoying, helpful, but annoying. So again, I just as a disclaimer, I do not condone clones at all. Like I said in yesterday's video, this was really educational to help you understand what a clone is. And this one didn't really help anything, but it was interesting to me. So I figured if I was going to do it, I might as well share it. Because I figured you might want to see what is inside yourself. Um, that's why these are probably, I don't even know how much these cost. I'm going to guess $20, $30, $40, I don't know, 50 bucks maybe. Are they worth it? No. Should you buy one? Also no. Let me see if I can just tighten this up real quick. Off camera here with my... Eh, yeah, whatever. I just I had to back it up with a pair of angled needle nose because I don't have another spanner bit this correct size. Now, granted, I will tell you this is the correct size. They got the holes right. They did get the holes right that fit Greg's pivot. So. Well, it's a clone, they got that right. So this is a number 14 spanner bit that does fit the two hole pivot on Greg's stuff. It's a little tight, but I will adjust that as we go. It'll loosen up as it breaks in. <laughs> Not really on this one. This one I need to loosen it up a little bit more. Just because of the nature of the beast here. Okay, that's about where it was before. So again, don't do clones. Just say no to clones. But now you see what's on the inside of a clone. It's a piece of junk. Uh, all the way around. So anyway, hope this was interesting to you and uh, let me know your thoughts on clones down below. Have a great day and we'll see you in the next one. Thanks guys.